Shalom. This is a video request about uh, types of STEM activities that can be uh, created for beginners. Now, I am just going to first show you things that we have here in our little maker kit. Now, this kit here I picked up at Home Depot for my daughter. I have one for my son as well, and I recently got this for my daughter. It only costs about I think seven bucks and just to show you she has her gloves in there she has some uh, sandpaper in there I would keep one of these kits in here that she had that we picked up from Lowe's now these uh, do-it-yourself kits they sell and they also have workshops as well so um, if you can't make the workshop like we can't we buy the kits and we do them at home and um, you know it, it's really fun to just kind of like take it and try to do it on our own at our own pace and what have you now this is something that my daughter is currently working on right now and which is a school bus I would also say get things like duct tape I, got, I picked this up from the dollar store, even though, to be quite honest with you, I do not recommend buying the duct tape from the dollar store because when you are doing certain projects, it does not stick properly. Also, the balloons, the balloons from the Dollar Tree, once again, they're one-time use. If you are doing things like hovercrafts or whatever, they're one-time use. They break after the first use so I would say uh, maybe go to Target or something and get a bag for an extra dollar it's not a big deal um, crazy glue from the Dollar Tree you can pick that up uh, tubing from Lowe's and I picked this up in the plumbing section and I just cut off a piece they measured it and it came out to like maybe like a dollar or two or something like that uh, this uh, I had also picked up in Lowe's this is a plastic um, AAA battery holder and this comes from the Dollar Tree I would not use the fan itself but remove the motor out of it throw away the rest of this uh, casing and you can hook up this motor to this and create something okay and then I have little tools in here there is a hammer here there are screwdrivers here all sorts of things that we have to create a little maker kit so I would say if you want to start off small something like that start off like that and then what you would do is to um, start looking through any science books any type of science experiment books and then you would want to start from there okay you can also take out books from the library and read up on the different uh, parts of STEM or STEAM rather okay STEM for those of you who do not know what STEM is STEM stands for science technology engineering and mathematics uh, they also have a STEAM uh, component which the A it stands for art okay now this is another activity that I had picked up from the Target from Target and it's a uh, a foam airplane and two of them came in a pack for four dollars and it's great because they can put it together it's really sturdy and it is really fun to play with my kids enjoy playing this um, type of thing and it's simple it's inexpensive you don't have to spend a lot of money also as I was saying before invest in um, some books if um, you don't always want to go to the library and take some out there are certain books that I would like to get um, for my kids 
to kind of reference and look through over and over and over again. And this is one of them. This is a book that we had gotten from Amazon. So this is a book that we will be using this year as part of our STEM uh, learning program. Also, when you are doing STEM, uh, you would like to keep a journal, okay? So just to show you what types of things that this particular journal has. Now, you don't need to buy this particular journal, okay? Um, even though it's not that expensive, it, like I said, it's a couple of dollars. It is under four bucks for this journal. And um, it's put out by Lakeshore. Okay, so here you want to um, name, um, write down the project name, the plan, create, test. You write out the results. Did it work? Yes or no. So it has that. It's basic for um, a young child, and they have older. They have a planner for our older uh, children. But right now, this is the one that we have. And it also has challenges in the back. So to create a sailboat, and it has the lesson objectives, the testable goals, suggested materials, the lesson plan here, ask, plan, create, test. So it would coincide with um, how this book is situated. They have challenge number two, making music, same setup. And challenge number three, spin-tastic. Okay, same setup. So this is just an example of a ready-made uh, STEM journal. Uh, this is our first year during STEM. I am at no means a, an expert at STEM, but I just find it fascinating. And um, it is a great way for children to learn, very hands-on way for a child to learn. Another great resource for STEM would be the Janice Van Cleef books. It has tons of great experiments. And this is what it looks like inside. I personally like colorful step-by-step -step pages. However, this is very uh, well put together as well. So that is something that I do recommend, the Janice Van Cleef's series we have um, the Max Axum graphic novels now these graphic novels you can pick up at on Amazon and this is just what it looks like here this is for my older daughter she likes these graphic novels so I picked them up for her and then I'll be passing them on to my younger kids um, the how tunes reignition and we picked up a couple of these as well on Amazon and this is great because it shows how they created structures and then you can, the same structures that they created in the stories, you can create it yourself. And they show you the picture, they have the how-to. So this is really, really cool. Also, for younger kids, Scoop, See, Saw, and Raise, a book about levelers. So this is a great introduction to STEM and to levelers and how they uh, work in our everyday life. Then you have uh, Roll, Slope, and Slide, a book about ramps, same concept. And these are really great STEM books for young uh, kids. It, explains it in a fun way it has nice beautiful colorful pictures and you know it appeals to the younger uh, child now I wanted to just show you this for a moment this is my planner for the year and I wanted to show you how we how I have kind of set up everything thus far. This is my daughter's uh, section, my younger daughter's section, and this is her schedule for the week. This right here are all of the subjects that she will be taking. 
This is the curriculum that we will be using. And this is basically the set, uh, setup of what we will be doing each week for STEM. Okay, so for example, every uh, week we will be doing a different letter of STEAM. Okay, we are putting the art component in our curriculum. So for Monday, for example, uh, the first week we'll be doing science, language arts, logic, Bible, and an elective. Okay, and then it will go on for the whole week. And for the S, the science portion, we will be studying the human body. We'll be going over blood and cells. Then for week two, we'll be building a computer for technology. Week three, simple machines. We went over simple machines the whole summer, so now we're carrying it over into the uh, school. Week four, we will be doing art, so we'll be doing color mixing and coloring within lines. Week uh, five, we will be doing math, so each uh, day of the week we are going to be addressing the different math uh, the different math curriculums that we have. We do have different uh, types of curriculum. We have Life of Fred, which is more of a storybook type thing, and you just grab a pencil and pen and kind of work it out. We have Matthew C, which is more hands-on. We have my daughter uses Singapore math. My son uses more Matthew C, and he will be using Jump Math as well. So this is basically how we have it situated right now and um, you know just so that you could see so we will not be covering each portion for each day we will be doing it we'll be covering each letter by week so S is one week T is another week E is another week A is another week M is another week if you get my drift <laughs> okay so that is where we are with the planning portion. Now, another a book that I use a lot in um, our STEM um, activity planning is the Tinker Lab. And I love this book. It has a lot of great ideas, a lot of hands-on ideas, activities, and a lot, you can use a lot of things um, within your natural environment. You can use uh, recycled bottles, uh, paper tubing, whatever it is. You can use all of those things to create and um, a tinker lab for your kids. So I love, love, love that concept. Also, you can um, look into getting science uh, kits for your kids. Now this is a Thames and Cosmos Stepping Into Science um, kit, and this is for startup scientists. Now just to let you know, the types of uh, things that you see in my halls are the things that uh, we have for our children. I don't buy um, frozen stuff, my children don't even know what frozen is. Um, I don't buy any extra stuff. I buy lots of educational toys for the kids. And this particular toy I had picked up, well not toy, but science kit, I had picked up at the thrift store. And just to show you, and I picked it up on a sale day. And that is not the price I paid. I paid uh, about three bucks for it. Or 250 something like that so this is what it comes with all of these things in here okay so that is another option check your thrift stores check you know if you have value village or um, unique store scour that store because they have great buys there these are zoops and this is a great building toy. Other building toys, other great STEM building toys are Connects, Lincoln Logs, 
Legos. All of those things you can use as part of a STEM uh, curriculum. Okay, my son and my daughter will be using this this year as part of their um, engineering uh, curriculum. It doesn't have to be expensive, although, yes, I have picked up things that were that did um, that are expensive but it doesn't always have to be expensive but again we do not buy extra stuff whatever you see um, pertaining to school and what have you is what we have for the kids there are no real bunch of extra toys I don't have a toy room or anything like that another thing uh, that I had picked up I had picked up this from Costco uh, not Costco excuse me Target is a Thames and Cosmos solar car kit and this solar car kit I had picked up a while back and I absolutely love it anything Thames and Cosmos I would absolutely recommend because they are a very good quality brand and there are many different ways that you can use their kits. It's not just geared toward one specific activity. So that's why I like the Thames and Cosmos kit kits and they are very well worth whatever they cost. Robot Turtles is a game, you know. Now, not only could you incorporate um, kits, science kits into your uh, into your STEM uh, activities, you can also incorporate games as well, board games. I've done a couple of videos on different types of logic board games or what have you, and I do, I do, you know, think that logic plays a very important part in learning as well. This is a game of um, that introduces basic coding concepts to preschoolers. <clears throat> Excuse me, called Robo Robot Turtles. Very very interesting game. We just started playing this game actually. So basically, what you would do is set up the board here. This game I got at uh, Target, by the way. You would set up the board here and set the cards out, and then the little turtle that corresponds to each player, <clears throat> excuse me, the adult would move the turtle according to what card, excuse me, <clears throat> according to what card the child says, the, the direction card the child would like the uh, adult to move to. So it could go up one, to the, to the left, to the right, depending on what the child would like. So, very, very good game. It does exactly what it says it does. This game, from what I understand, it has won uh, uh, quite a few awards, and it is absolutely uh, worth it. It's highly recommended, and I highly recommend it as well. So these are the types of things that I wanted to show you in regard to STEM. Uh, like I said, you can create your own notebook, but using those same basic uh, concepts of the book that I showed you earlier. You can incorporate the different uh, books, whether it be from the library or you purchase your own books, graphic novels, science kits, building kits, games, uh, <clears throat> and reference books so it's all up to you as to how you want to put together uh, your stem program and with that I say good luck to you and um, stay tuned for more if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment box and I will get back to you thank you very much for watching and subscribe thank you